perfect. All right, hello everyone. We are gonna be doing our weekly Zoom today, and we're gonna be talking about life posts and stories. So um, most of our business is as far as posting. We obviously know that we do a lot of posting, whether it's in our stories or whether it's in our actual news feed or whether it's in Facebook. Give me one second, let me whoever just came in. Um, okay, I think everybody else, perfect. So um, we have to post a lot, right? So we have what we call product posts, which is when we talk about any of our products, whether it's a testimony or ourselves or just a picture of the product or whatever, giving a brief description of it. But we have something that's called life posts, which is basically you as a distributor talking about your life, um, what this business has done for you, what this business is going to do for you, why you joined the business, why it's important for you and your family, and just basically talking about the business in relationship to yourself. That is what a life post is. So there's a couple ways that you can do it. You can go about this. You can either talk about life posts, whether it is um, if you're fairly new, you obviously don't have a lot of testimony when it comes to what the business has done for you because you probably haven't seen a paycheck. Um, but even if you have, even if you haven't seen a paycheck, you can talk about where the business is going to take you. So I'm going to be doing a couple exercises with you guys today. You don't necessarily have to do them right now because some of you are doing some of your daily tasks. Um, but because we are recording this video, this is something that you can go back to and refer so that it helps you with creating your own life post. Because some of us, including myself, I have been in the business for two years and sometimes I have no idea what to talk about because it feels like everybody already knows why I joined the business. Everybody already knows where I'm trying to go with the business what I'm trying to accomplish with it. Um, but it's always nice to have a refresher of other ideas that you can do to create life posts because it shouldn't be intimidating. And it shouldn't have to be something that is a super long post because you can basically do a life post in a couple sentences and it's still considered a life post. So an exercise that I found in one of our old um, chats, these are things or tips that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that you guys have seen in the Dash to Diamonds page or even in our goal getters, but I went way back. We, every single year when you have been a distributor, if you are in the Dash to Diamonds page, which is ran by Jade Hooper, um, every year she creates a whole new page to continue to help us with our trainings. And then that old page kind of gets put in archive. We still have access to it, but we don't necessarily do anything with it anymore. But it has a lot of good content that other leaders have posted that maybe weren't transitioned into the Dash to Diamonds page. So I went way back two years and looked for stuff that helped me when I started out the business because I also struggled with doing life posts. Even now, I still sometimes struggle with doing life posts. So an exercise that I found that was actually really nice that you probably have already seen um, is writing down 30 things. Hold on, let me mute. Okay. You're going to be writing down 30 things, 30 things that you would do with an extra $200 a month. And then they can be big or they can be little. It doesn't matter. It's what you would want to do with $200. So it gave an example. It said the first five or so might come quick and easy, but the next 20 to 25 might need some thought. And this is important. Just number them. They don't have to be in any particular order, just one through 25. So like, let's say the first five is number one is pay off debt. I think everybody who joined this business most likely joined this business because you needed to pay off some type of debt, right? Um, number two, save for a vacation. Number three, maybe buy organic groceries. Maybe you're buying groceries like for me, I'm, I was all about couponing. Like I want some, and I'm still about couponing. Nothing has changed, but I might have shopped at a cheaper grocery store because I knew it was going to be cheaper. And, and I might have to drive longer to get there than going to a quick, maybe food lion when it's like probably twice the price that it was at Walmart. So these are things that you can think of. Number four, maybe get, if you have children, get the kids new shoes. Number five, make a daily Starbucks run. Maybe be able to have the luxury of buying Dunkin' Donuts coffee every morning or buying uh, lunch or going to salad works or going to the mall, getting a manicure, getting a pedicure, getting your hair done, buying clothes, like not having to say no. These are things that you can come out, be specific. If you want to just be general, you can also just say buy clothes each month um, and so on. So at the end of this exercise, you should have 
30 life post ideas because each one of them is what you're going to use to create a life post theme. And then you can refer to this list at any time whenever you have a writer's block and always remember to include a before it works life post, a now life post, and where you want to be in six months life post. And the key for life posts and what makes it a little bit hard and what makes it intimidating is being vulnerable. I know a lot of us have difficulty with being vulnerable or even talking about our difficulties or even bragging a little bit about what the business has already done for us. So why are we like that? There could be a couple reasons why we won't be vulnerable. It could have been because of life events. It could also be because we don't want people to think that we are all about money and being materialistic and that, um, that we're the only ones who think this way and we just don't want to grab the wrong attention. Um, some of you, it's not even about that. Like you guys probably, yeah, let's say that you don't want to show off what you are achieving with the business. But some of you are not doing life posts because you're scared of failure, because you're scared of saying, oh, I'm going to do this with the business and then not achieve it. So on that note, you need to start doing a lot more self-development and start believing in yourself and being more confident about what this business can do for you and believing that this business is able and capable of doing what you need it to do for you and your life. Um, if you don't believe it and you, I mean, even writing this stuff down, then you're not going to get anywhere in the business because you're not even capable of writing a life post saying how this, this business is going to help you with paying a $20, like getting $20 in gas, which brings me to my next point. When you first start the business, you're obviously not going to be making a hundred, 200, 300, 400, whatever amount when you first start off. When I started, um, I looked it up, I made like 17, $18. And I still talked about the business like it was the best thing that it could happen to me. Why? Because I still believe that I was able, I was going to be able to make more money, first off. But second off, $17, $18 was still a big amount for me. It was still something that I could use to be able to spoil myself. $17, $18, I could buy a couple shirts. I could buy an outfit or whatever it may be. Or spoil my daughter because Carter was having a buy one half off everything and I could buy her a whole bunch of outfits. So just because you're not making a large amount of money each month doesn't mean that you shouldn't be talking about it. And if you don't feel comfortable talking about how much you're making, you obviously don't have to put any currency amount, but then talk about what you want the business to do for you. Um, and I just wanted to put it into perspective for you guys. I feel like if you were to find a dollar in the street and you would talk about it. You'd be like, oh my gosh, I went to like Walmart and I found a dollar in the parking lot, right? A dollar's a dollar. You can, I mean, here in Delaware, we have no taxes. So if I want to buy something from the dollar menu, it's going to be a dollar. So that's a meal for me if I want to buy it. So if I find something and it's a dollar, then it's a dollar. You found it. Or even if you're losing weight, if you lost only two pounds in your first couple days, then you know that I'm going to, hold on, let me mute. Um, you know that I'm gonna talk about it. Like, oh my gosh, like I've only been doing this for like a month and I lost two pounds. Like, I'm so excited. And then you start believing more like, oh my gosh, I made two, I lost two pounds. Like next month, I'm gonna try to shoot for five. I'm gonna shoot for eight, whatever. And even if I don't reach the 10 pounds in my goal for the next month, I'm still excited that I'm still losing something towards that goal. So it's the same thing with your business. If you're only making $10 the first month and the second, and you're like, gosh, like, man, this is incredible. Like I'm still making money from my phone. And then the next month you only make like, maybe you double it. Oh, I doubled my income the next month. That's like going towards my next goal. Like I'm trying to make 200, then you keep going. And maybe there's months where your paycheck goes down, but it doesn't mean that you have to stop believing in the business. It should push you to, to work harder to get to, to the goal that you want to meet. So, cause a lot of us just joined just for the $200 or at least I know I did. Um, Another thing with life posts and making and not making it complicated is that some of you might have joined the business not because you had debt. Some of you might have joined it because you wanted friendships or it was just something fun to do. Like, I can't honestly say that I joined this business. Like, yes, I had debt. Um, but I can't honestly say that I joined the business to be a stay at home mom because I was already going to be a stay at home mom. That was the plan from the start. Like my husband was going to be working and I was going to be a stay at home mom anyways. 
I joined this business because I didn't want to see my husband have to pay for all of our expenses when I knew that I was expensive myself. Like I have expensive taste and I, the medical bills that I was piling up to because our insurance was crappy, like those were things that I was adding on to our bills. So I joined this business because I didn't want to have to see my husband go through this burden of having to provide for my, for myself and my daughter, not necessarily because we needed it for debt. So if that is your circumstance where you join this business, not necessarily because you needed it, because this, this is just extra money, then talk about that. Don't embrace another person's story when it's not your own. And a person who is like that is, um, uh, her last name is Thornton. Oh my gosh. What's her name? I think it's Kelly. Um, I got to look her up, but her Instagram name is KK Thornton and she joined this business and she's been flat out from the start. I joined this business because I was bougie and I like to get my nails done and I like to get my outfits and my hair done and everything. And she talks about that. And that's why she joined the business and it became so much more for her. She's like, now I get my eyelashes done. Like she still talks about that. So you don't have to be someone you're not if you join this business for a completely different reason, which brings me to my next point. If you are stuck with finding what to put in your life post, then look for a leader, a top leader, whether it's on your team or a sideline or someone who's been in the business and copy their life post. You don't want to copy obviously word per word, but you can get, you can get inspiration from these, from these, um, leaders and then be able to write your own life post, especially someone you can relate to. So if you are a mom or if you're a dog mom, if you're a student, if you're single or whatever it may be, then try to relate to these life posts, get these ideas of what they're doing. And then you can create your own because it shouldn't be something that's super complicated. Um, another thing that I wanted to share with you guys, um, we went over the exercising I wanted to talk to you guys about this life post walkthrough that I found. Um, number one said, think about why you joined. So think deep, um, whether it was an event that just put you to your lowest point. Um, and they gave some examples. It said like a bill not getting paid, um, losing your job, or maybe you were just sick of struggling. Um, whatever it is, talk about it, a place you've been. And then this person who posted this said, for them, it was losing their job and then their home. And then that was when they truly, truly started looking at the business as an option. So there might be life events that when you first started, it would have been a different reason. But while you're in the transition of this business, there something might have happened or something can happen where this business is your only option. Like This is the only thing you have at this point. So why not make it some of it? Oh, that's great, Andrea. Yeah, exactly. Meeting someone you can relate to is what's going to help you with your post. Like, I feel like I, when I found someone I connected to, like I was like, Oh, I love their content. Their pictures are great. Their posts are great. And it's just something that allows you to be able to kind of think of other things you weren't thinking of, because I feel like my mind is very like, like I could only like with the list, I could only think of like five or six things. But when I started seeing what they were posting, I was like, Oh man, there's a lot of things that I could post. Like um, kind of like our, what we did with our dream boards, like it allows you to dream a little bit bigger, like, oh, I need a mattress. So let me put that on my dream board. Like this business is going to help me buy a mattress or this business is going to help me do whatever you need off of your dream board. Um, the second life post walkthrough that was on this list is talk about where you are right now. So even again, don't embrace another story. Like if you're not making $200, don't say you're making $200. Um, so this example they posted, it said, it's really refreshing to be surrounded by encouraging, uplifting people on a daily basis. I'm setting larger goals for myself than I've ever in my life, and it's rewarding. I am working towards whatever goal, so like my double diamond goal, um, come whatever comes, whatever comes my way, because I believe I can do it. And that's a life post. It's not super complicated. Like, you don't have to talk about like, oh my gosh, like I didn't have money and all that. Like you don't have to make it too complicated. Number three is finally talk about where you are going. So an example they did was, I'm so stinking exciting about promoting to Ruby. Do you know what an extra $500 can do up in, <laughs> up in this tier house? That is my insurance payment and groceries plus gas. That's 80% of my rent or my water bill, cable, and electric. That is school shopping covered without having to stress. Plus, I will be earning a $100 shopping spree, unlimited 100 well, the 
back then it was a different bonus, but unlimited bonuses and I'll be eligible for the $5,000 Emerald bonus. Um, yeah, this was the best, cho best choice I've made in a long time. I have never spent $99 on a pair of shoes and not only did those shoes pay me back, but my money, they paid me 10 times more and keep on paying me. Have you? I think it's about time. So these are just different examples that you guys can do um, for creating life posts. I will share these examples with you guys in the goal getters page, just so you guys have those screenshots. Um, I would prefer to kind of, I might be able to do these pictures and then when I get the link, then I'll put it all together. I'll edit it and then I'll update it with the link so you guys have it all in one um, post. Um, but that pretty much covered everything I wanted to talk to you guys about life post. Um, basically, why did you join? Was it for friendships, debt, or fun? Um, are you posting, are you not posting life posts because you feel failure or because you don't believe in yourself? Um, I want to also just like, I know I, sh I talk about Jennifer a little bit, but I want to shout her out in her life post recently. If you guys aren't following her, you should, because the way she's been doing life posts is exactly the way you should be doing them in the sense of where she has been. Cause she's always talked about her job and how she was working. Then she was able to quit her job because of the business. And now she's talking about retiring her husband. And then from there, she's talking about how she's been able to spoil her dog and she continues to add on everything up to where she's going to get. Same thing with Tara. If you've noticed, she talked about retiring her husband. She retired her husband. Then she went and she talked about like paying off debt. Like she kept, it's like a ladder. Like you're working towards all of these, all of these goals. Um, so you want to talk about your future because people are watching. Let me mute someone. Um, people are watching what you're doing. So as you're telling them like, look, this is my next goal. This is my next goal. It doesn't matter how many times you're posting. This is where I'm going to get. And then as you keep, when you get there, then you're like, I made it. I did it. This is my, I finally did it. And now this is my next goal. And then people watch that. They're like, wow, like this person, it's really working for them because they're, they're achieving everything. They're not giving up. They're consistent. They're talking about the products in the business. So um, you just have to really believe in yourself. Now, stories. Um, with your stories, you want to make sure you can include live posts in your stories if you'd like. Uh, a cool uh, story series that I saw some leaders, I can also post an example for you guys, is talking about your, your personal story through over a series of posts. So you can talk about like, hey, my name is so-and-so, I've been in the company for this long, or maybe just a couple months. And then you can talk about like, um, through this business, I was able to meet friends and blah, blah, blah. If you have a picture of your of people in the business together, if you don't, then you can talk about like, I was able to find some people that helped me. Um, and then you can say like, this is, these are the ranks that I've achieved. This is what it's done for me so far. This is where I'm going to be going. Would you like to join my team? Let me know blah, blah, blah. And then it's like over a series, but then you can save those. If you have Instagram, you can save it on your highlights so that people can look at them later on. Um, because I feel like that's one of the first things that I see when I go to someone's page, I want to see what their story is. So then I click through their stories just to see what kind of background they have, if they have one. Um, so that is an example that you guys could do. Um, and with talking about stories, you always want to make sure that your stories are consistent um, stories have a 24 hour where they expire. So if you're letting them expire, I just want to highlight this portion because if you're letting them expire, it's going to, um, affect your views. Um, if you stop posting consistently through your stories, even if it's just you walking down the street or eating a slice of pizza, or your kids are doing something funny, or you, the weather, or there's a bird, or there's something, and so you want to post a quote or a funny meme or something, keep your stories flowing because that's really going to help you with your algorithms. Um, if you want to add, adding like poll features, question features, music, or little gifs or whatever, that's going to help with your algorithms because you're using social media with its purpose, with its intention of be using all of these extra gadgets and stuff. Um, and that way people can keep seeing your live posts. Um, I think that's all I was going to mention. If you don't know something, ask. So if you're 
stuck with your life pose or if you're stuck with what to how to go about something then ask your your upline because we can give you examples of what you could be doing not necessarily what you have to do but what you could be doing and that should give you inspiration because again we don't want to copy and paste everything exactly the way someone else is doing it because that's just being fake and nobody wants to join your team if you're fake because you want to talk about exactly what you're doing um because i feel like if i were to join someone who's fake obviously everything is going to come out in the end and if you're telling someone you are doing something because you unless i'm not even going to get into that but i'm just saying be yourself with the business make sure you're posting consistently make sure you're telling everybody who you are and don't be ashamed don't be ashamed if you're only making a small amount and it's not where you want to be yet because any little bit you should see it as an opportunity to know that this is something that's legit it's not a scam you're making money you're capable of making money and you're the only only person who can decide what amount you're going to be making each month um, so if you're only enrolling one customer a month like you're obviously not going to be making what you want if um, making sure you're doing your steps to success so you need to be at enrolling at least four people just because you enroll four people at the beginning of the month doesn't mean you stop you keep going you keep enrolling as many as you can because that's going to keep overlapping in the months that you probably didn't enroll as much so if last month i enrolled a whole bunch this month i didn't enroll that much like it's going to keep overlapping so you want to make sure you're trying your best every single month because you deserve nothing but the best and this business is going to get you where you need to be um did anybody have any questions about life posts or did you guys have like Anybody wanted to chime in and say something about life posts or what's helped out, help them out with something? I think I um I'm also gonna share with you guys some screenshots. Jordan had done this in the past, but if you're stuck on what to post on your stories or post just in general, um, I have like these 30 day challenges pictures or like Instagram challenges that give you ideas of what you can post, like people like day one, they post themselves, or day two, they post what they wore today, stuff like that. That way you have ideas of what you can post on your stories at least, so that you're consistent with your stories and you don't let them time out. Um, and then I'm also going to be sharing something that Jade did a couple years ago, um, which I'm really excited. I'm gonna try to see if I can type them all up, but she gave examples of what you can do for life posts. And I feel like if people can read those, it'll give you like, your wheels will start turning to create your own stories. But I definitely have to type those when the kids are sleeping because if not, that means it's gonna try to take the laptop and it's just not gonna work out. So um, that's gonna take me a little bit because I have to copy and paste. She did one for a lot of days. That was like when I first joined and I had no idea what she was talking about. So that's gonna take me a little bit to copy and paste. But did anybody have any questions? I don't see anything in the chat. I just wanted to add, um about life posts, like you were saying, um, Ashley Mirth, who is our, she's presidential, right? Yeah. Or she ambassador. Uh, okay. no, I think she's, she's ambassador a, diamond. No, she's ambassador. <laughs> okay. So she is all of our upline. Um, so if you haven't met her, like she's awesome. Um, she's the type of person, like you could Facebook message her and she will, answer you like she's awesome but she tells the same story every single week there's people that have been following her for years that have heard her story over and over i've heard her story over and over but the thing is we're adding new people every day we're adding tons of new people we should be adding like 150 to 200 new people every day so if you post the same type of thing every week like it's to a new audience and if people aren't interested, like they're just not gonna follow you back. But if they are still watching you week after week, like you don't have to feel like you're annoying anybody. You don't, it's, it doesn't work like that. Our brains don't work like that. We are the only ones that think like too much of ourselves. <laughs> like if I'm like, oh, I posted that about myself like two and a half weeks ago. Nobody remembers, like I'm the only one that remembers that. So if I'm posting the same thing over and over, and I don't mean like the same wording, I'm talking about the same story. So she tells the same story every week, just changes up the wording of how she presents it. But she always talks about how she used to be on food stamps. She joined this to just make a couple extra hundred dollars. Like Saray was saying, like most of us have. And then like it goes into like her journey of how she grew. 
So um, I just don't want anybody to feel like they're talking too much about themselves because you're not like, you're probably not talking enough about yourself, your journey. You're not annoying anybody. And if for some crazy reason you were, they're just going to unfollow you. Like it's not, it's not a big deal. So I just wanted to add that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's funny you say that because, um, it reminds me of something that I took in psychology class that we as humans, obviously, um, imperfect as we are tend to always highlight our flaws before someone highlights them before us. And that's just for us to be able to get some type of approval from the person and make the situation less awkward. So like sometimes if we have like maybe like a pimple on our face or something and we're like, oh my gosh, like I have this pimple on my face. Like you tend to highlight it before the person even says it any, like you just kind of like try to make the situation less awkward, I guess. So with us, like our mind, like we're like, oh my gosh, like people are probably thinking this, they're probably thinking that, like they're probably like, oh my gosh, like she got a bonus, like, oh, oh my, like you're like, you don't want to sound like you're too, you're making all this money. But just like if you found something that was super, like a restaurant that was super delicious and, or like I found this makeup, like what do you think makeup artists are doing? Like they're blogging about stuff. They're blogging about these products, but they could care less if they're putting a, a mascara in your face 24 seven saying like, try this mascara, try this mascara. You don't even think twice that, they're also getting paid for that too. So like, you're not even thinking twice about all this stuff that they're doing and you shouldn't be doing that either because this is like literally the best decision you guys could have made. And you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you're going to get to where you want to be. And, um, and the person's name, are you talking about the one that Jordan asked? Her name is Ashley Mirth. And her last name is M-I-R-T-H. Um, if you are in, Jordan shared one of her videos in the chat. Um, so maybe like once I post, Jordan, once I post this stuff, maybe you can add that link in the comments too, just so that we all have it in one thread. And um, because that video from Ashley was really good. So if we don't have any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and...